you're going to be on the deck for about 13 hours or so. So we knew eventually they were going to hit us at some point. Uh, landed under the cover of darkness. We did our link up. Uh, we continued to move south into the village. About a half hour later, uh, we'd already gotten into the, the uh, compound themselves. We had our security elements set. And uh, about 06, uh, they opened up with a pretty good burst of machine gun fire from the west in the mountains, as well as a couple different compounds in the south. So we were taking uh, effective machine gun fire, um, as well as some small arms fire from those buildings. Once we got in there, I ended up getting machine guns. They, they pulled up into our position. They established some fires out to the west, which ultimately relieved a lot of pressure off of those two elements that were out to the west that were pinned down, enabling them to maneuver to cover, and then uh, eventually maneuvering on the enemy out to the west. A series of six or seven different compounds and surges were seen uh, utilizing motorbikes, driving from one fighting position to the another, to another, uh, grabbing reinforcements from the west and the back side of that mountain, bringing them back to their positions, and uh, taking pretty good fire. Uh, we took cover behind berms, walls, whatever we could. Uh, we were definitely taking effective fire. We just pushed down that, down that track to try and draw some fire to see what's coming in from down that end. You certainly drew some fire. Yeah, we got some coming from there. Yeah, hey, once I tell you, light it up with the tracers so we can talk the jab on. Again, I called for about six different mortar missions uh, with the 60s. They landed on the objective. Um, we had high Mars coming in. We had rotor support, so we were doing gun runs the whole time, ultimately trying to fix them in place so we could maneuver on them. Ultimately, that's what we did. Uh, what's going on right now is we have friendlies in this compound over there at the beginning of the raid and a compound to our west, and we are currently holding security or being the base of fire for our movement element on the west side. Along with the ANSAF, the Afghans and the British, we maneuvered through, uh, cleared about six or seven more compounds, um, got the two guys who were shooting at us, so we detained them. We found a pretty good cache made up of RPGs, AKs, grenades, plenty of rounds, a vest, um, all at their location to include their uh, the radio they've been using all day. Uh, at that point, we basically moved back to uh, a southern compound after we blew their, their cache and uh, extracted again under, uh, under fires the entire time. Uh, on extract yesterday, uh, the third platoon ended up coming out and landing on the mountains off to the west. Uh, as they landed up on the mountains to the west, they started to receive some sniper fire from further up in the mountains as well as at least some uh, machine gun fire and small arms fire. But they were able to deal with that quickly, suppressing the enemy that was firing at the helicopters up until the last minutes that we were getting off the deck. I was sitting in the back of the Osprey, just watching rounds impact five, ten meters away from the, the back tail. The, the fighters that yesterday were definitely ready for us, but I don't think they were ready for what we were going to do to them and the Marines. The Afghans, the Brits, the sailors, everybody that went out yesterday really just brought the fight to them.